All right. I don't mind making mistakes. Where's the trust? Where's the love? It's the famous Chinese blinking rings. Thank you. <laughs> They're already late. I was hoping the kids could get them apart. Who wants to help me with a trick? Come on over, young lady with the sunglasses. You're gonna be a star. What's your name? Let's have a big hand for Tristan, everybody. Oops, sorry. You point your finger and grab your wrist with the other hand. Watch this. Go like that. Close enough. Hold it up real strong. Tristan, watch this. I'm gonna spin this ball. I'm gonna put it on your finger. You're gonna do this all by yourself and people are gonna clap for you. Clap for five. No, five dollars. <laughs> Come on, give her a big hand. Hey, does anybody else wanna try it? I know you do, you all do. And the thing is, I'll do it. But I'm gonna wait until the end of the show. Come up after the show, take a picture, put it on Facebook, but I'm gonna keep the show moving. Otherwise, the adults will get bored and they'll leave. I never wanted to turn this into a kid's show. I never wanted to be a children's entertainer. As a matter of fact, I told people I was going to be an adult entertainer. <laughs> and that's exactly the response I would get from people. They would just laugh in my face. <laughs> you like it? I'm going to throw them out to people. I'm going to have you throw them back to me. We're going to play a game called the Human Ring Toss. Want to help out? Who wants to be in the show? All of a sudden, all of a sudden people are like, oh no, my television is throwing things at me. There it is. Hey, give me a hand. That's what I'm going to try to do. That's exactly what I'm going to try to do. Oh. Yeah. Aim for my head. I'm having a hard time with that one. Come on, one more time. It's going to land around my... Head. That's the one. That's so easy, please. I don't even have to move. A lot of times, people make me run for it. One over here. Don't take out the front row. We're trying to be nice to people. Give them a big hand. One more. All right. What else do we do? Hey, did you guys enjoy watching the World Cup soccer that happened in town? Yeah. They had it all over town. It was fun. World Cup soccer. I don't mind. She doesn't bother me. Let her wander around. Watch. I'll show you some moves that I figure might be useful. The only rule that I can tell is don't touch the ball with your hands. So here's what you do. You're not allowed to touch. I know. You can't use your hands. You can't use your arms. But you can use... I'm all over the place. Kids, from now on, from now on, all comments and suggestions must be submitted in writing. <laughs> Here's what you do. You get the ball on your head. You're allowed to do this and then you just run down the field. There's no rule against you. Yeah, if someone's taller, that's true. They say the Brazilian players are the best in the world, but they're not that tall. You gotta work, watch out for the Dutch. They're tall. Because they can kick the ball. If you try this, you get kicked in the head a lot. <laughs> you think that's funny. The thing is, if you get kicked in the head a few times, you end up with a steel plate in your head. All you have to do is find a ball with a magnet in it. <laughs> it's easy for me, I was raised with a porpoise. <laughs> my father was a seal. My doctor said I keep bouncing a ball on my head like this, I'm going to lose my memory. Turns out there's good things about losing your memory. You make new friends every day. You can hide your own Easter eggs. And you make new friends every day. Watch this. I'll catch a ball on my foot. If I get it on the first try, give me a big cheer. If I miss it, go ahead and boo me. Watch this, the first try. Yeah. 
So what? You saw the show already. Yeah, there's Velcro on my shoes. So what? <laughs> Make my job easier. <laughs> what do you think? Is that cheating? No, it isn't. Hey, do you want to see the danger? You want to see me juggle with the knives? Because I'll do it. I'll do it. There they are. One, two, three. The knives are real. Do I have to prove they're real knives? All right, I'll cut a kid. <laughs> what am I going to do? I'm all over the place. Look, I, yeah, I can make a balloon animal. You saw my show already, didn't you? How many times? Just once. I make a balloon animal, and then I can pop it with a knife. Because look, I can't hurt somebody at the show. If anything bad happens, you could sue me for everything I'm worth, and I don't want to lose all that stuff. <laughs> my whole life over there. So I can make a balloon animal. I learned to make balloon animals in clown college. I did go to clown college, otherwise known as McGill University. <laughs> it's getting away. I'll do anything for a laugh. The thing is, I like the sound of laughter. I don't care if people are laughing at me or with me, near me or around me. I mean, I guess I don't like the sound of laughter coming from underneath me. <laughs> You can laugh, the kids don't get it. If they do, it's not my fault. I didn't raise them. I can make a balloon animal. I'll make a poodle dog. It's a poodle. You want to see me kill it? It's going to feel bad popping it in front of all these kids. Who wants it? You want it? Come on over. Come on over. This could be yours. What's your name? Let's have a big hand for Herbert, everybody. That's yours. But look, you gotta earn it. I'm gonna make you earn it. I'm gonna put you on my shoulders. <laughs> Herbert, and I want you to act scared while I ride around on this little bike right here. <laughs> if you fall off, try to land on the poodle dog. Come on, give her a bit of a He's doing a wave to the people. They're clapping for you. You got to wave to them. How does it feel? Does it feel like a pony ride? No. Does it smell like a pony ride? I never. Come on, give her a bit of a big hand. That's the hardest balloon animal you're ever going to earn. There you go. Thanks for helping out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I've only got a couple things left to show you. I'm going to wrap this up. It's the last day of our festival. There's going to be a lot of interesting performances out here. People from all over the world. They also got me, juggling four of these things. This should look like the smallest man in the world juggling tennis balls. <laughs> I can do this while looking at something else. I think I'll look at the top of that tree. Are you doing it again? It sounds like we're having more fun than we actually are. I'm going to jump on this thing and ride around. And it looks like nobody's going to try to stop me. How tall is it? It's about, it's about six foot four. Not a very good liar. While I'm up there, I will juggle. Now I'll juggle a knife. I've also got a plunger. And I've got a bottle. When I need a little help, when I need a little help, I'll this gentleman throw me a plunger, I'll this gentleman throw me a bottle. You want to throw me the knife? Oh yeah, right. I'm not throw, not having someone throw a knife at me. You want me to throw a knife at you? Hold still. I'm gonna jump up on that thing. I could try. 
one more magic trick before I do it. I've got a magic hat. I will pull something out of the hat. What do you want to see? A bunny? The hat is empty. Does anyone want to examine the hat? Examine the hat. See if there's anything inside of it. I'm going to wrap this up. Yeah, go ahead and bang on it a little bit. Don't hurt the bunny. Come on, there's nothing in the hat. It turned it inside out. What did you do to my hat? Is there a rabbit in there? I give it back. <laughs> you guys have a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun performing in Edmonton. I'm going to pull something out of the hat. I'm going to pull a rabbit out of a hat. If there's a rabbit in this hat right now, what's he thinking? Yeah, it's a tough gig being a magician's bunny. Nobody said show business is an easy life. They never got organized. They don't have a union. They work for carrots. <laughs> I'll even tell you how the magic is done. It's done with misdirection. Here's how it works. Look over there. It's the strangest looking rabbit I ever saw. I pulled a raccoon out of a hat. That's even better. All right, look. Here we go. I'm not going to bring a couple of big, strong guys up to help me with this like everybody else does. Climb all over, mess up their hair. I jump up real quick. Watch close. I put a foot there, I put a foot there. I sit down and I start riding. All while holding a knife. They told me I shouldn't run with scissors. You're definitely not supposed to do that. Hey, say what you want. Finally, I can ride through the city at night and feel safe. <laughs> like Peter Pan. Dogs don't like me. They're like, that guy's crazy. They can sense it. All right, I'm going to ride over here. I'm going to throw me a plunger. You can throw it to me. You can hand it to me. Give him a big hand. Woo! Throw me the bottle. Give him a big hand. Woo! These things are very maneuverable. I could stop on a dime on this thing. Someone, someone throw a dime out there? <laughs> I can actually stop on a dime. A dime is kind of hard to see. I can also stop on a $20 bill. <laughs> a lot easier to see. Stay right where you're at. I can balance the plunger on my head. I'm gonna try to do it. Try to balance this thing on my head on a unicycle. Got a little vertigo. There is an easy way to do that. You can just go like this. Hey, it's a unicorn on a unicycle. Hey, someone used this thing. All right. All right, look. Come on, I'll take a picture. This is going to be the finale of my show. You guys have been a wonderful audience. Thanks for watching. I mean, I know I'm not all that funny. When I started out, I told people I was going to be a comedian, and everybody laughed at me. Well, you know what? No one's laughing now. <laughs> I'm going to wrap the show up. My name is Peter Panic. I mean, I'll be honest with you, Peter Panic is not my real name. My real name is Jason Bourne. <laughs> anyway, I don't want to make this awkward, but this is how I make my living. This is my job. If you guys enjoyed the show, I know you watch it, but if you enjoyed the show, you're welcome to come up afterwards, drop something in the hat so that I can help me to pay my bills. I mean, I got bills like everyone else. I can't go up to my landlord and say, hey, Really enjoyed living here. <laughs> but the beautiful thing about performing on the street is anyone gets to watch. I hope you enjoyed it. This is our last day of the festival. Thank you, Edmonton. Woo!